90 Day Fiance is one of the bigger shows that are reality television shows that take the real out of reality and just become ality TV shows. Uh, so today in this video, we're going to go over some of the moments that made us think like this. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Number one, the fake Tinder scandal involving Jay Smith. Jay Smith revealed during an interview with In Touch Weekly that the Tinder incident that happened on stage was for the cameras. He says it was just an act, so it was easy to move. Because, you know, we just act on the TV. And after, that was it. Tinder incident that happened, that was stage. Because without drama, you don't have a show. The Tinder scandal, it was just an act, so it was easy. Number two, the show's portrayal of Sasha. Sasha Lorena's wife, Emily, decided to set the record straight on Instagram, saying, For a while, I was disappointed that the world didn't get to meet the Sasha that I know. The man I know is always thinking about how I can be a better provider for his family, she later added. I'll keep the real you to myself. Number three, Caesar looking for love. As you can see, there is some suspicion that Max Engel wasn't to find true love at all. Instead, he was simply after building up his portfolio. As it turns out, Mac is an aspiring actor, and on a casting call website called The Core Talent, Mac used to have a profile page. According to Distractify, he has listed himself as an actor and model based in Rayleigh. My life is ruined now. And I'm ready to go home because I'm just, just really, really miserable right now. Marie didn't show up. Number four, Tom Brooks' luxurious lifestyle. It seems that Tom Brooks has gotten into the habit of stealing high luxury lifestyle photos on social media and passing them as his own. Such photos included one of a Louis Vuitton box and Moe Champagne being enjoyed poolside. Following his fake post, Brooks was called out by some of the photo's original owners. According to Soap Dirt, Brooks attempted to defend his actions by saying they were paid promotions. Number five, only American cast members get paid. On the show, it is only the American cast members who get to receive a salary for their appearances, according to E! News. While speaking to Kate Casey, show executive producer, Sharp also explained someone who is an international, that would be illegal to pay someone. They would have to give a green card, which they do not. Number six, the show has been sued by former cast members. Mark and Nikki Shoemaker decided to file a lawsuit against TLC's parent company, Discovery Communications. According to a copy of the complaint website on Justia US Law, the couple alleged they were fraudulently misrepresented on the show. They also claimed that the show's producers provided false verbal explanations and promises, and that they only signed the release and agreements in reliance on such misrepresentations. In the end, however, the lawsuit was dismissed. Number seven, women are asked to sit a certain way to enhance physical appeal. During sit-down individual interviews, it does sometimes appear that the women are under a great deal of discomfort. Taking to IG, 90 Day Fiancé star Anfisa explained that they are asked to sit with your legs elevated during interviews. She also added, because producers make all women on the show sit like this, if you haven't noticed. Number 8, Corey asking Evelyn to pick him up. In one episode of 90 Day Fiancé the other way, Corey Rathgeber flew to Ecuador to spend some time with Fiancé Evelyn Villegas in her own country. Based on the scenes, it seemed like Rathgeber was expecting Villegas to meet him at the airport upon arrival. However, Villegas told her fans on IG Live, People complain about me not picking him up at the airport, but Corey is a great actor. That's all I'm going to say about that. He knew I wasn't going to show up at the airport because he told me not to do it. That's all we have for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Comment down below the fake things about 90 Day Fiancé that you've heard of. And subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. We'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching again. Goodbye.